Zimbabwe is trying to rebuild its economy from the ground up. It has billions of dollars worth of untapped resources. So the government is making a big pitch to investors. In Zimbabwe, we have abandoned resources. What we have lagged as a country is capital. To take advantage of the resources we have and take advantage of the able human capital we have. With large deposits of diamonds, platinum, gold and chrome, it's estimated mining could bring in $18 billion a year to the country, according to a UK consultancy firm, Mining Report. But the sector is currently only making one-tenth of that, and it needs more than $7 billion of investment to grow. The government says it's changed its policies to entice investors. The government has made a concerted effort to ensure that the environment is correct. Government in the new dispensation has come up very clearly with policy clarity and assured of policy consistency. The systems we have in this country work. But there's long been allegations of corruption and bribery in the sector. Former President Robert Mugabe used the army to take over lucrative mines, cutting out British and Chinese operators. And he discouraged many foreign investors with threats of nationalisation. But after four decades, Zimbabwe has a new leader. Emerson Meningagwa says agriculture and mining are key to reviving the damaged economy he inherited. The government has partially repealed a Mugabe-era law that forced companies to sell or transfer 51% stakes to black Zimbabweans. He's also re-established international lines of credit and says it's now up to investors to decide if Zimbabwe is again open for business. Liz Maddock, TRT World. For more insights on Zimbabwe's mining sector prospects, let's speak to Peter Major in Johannesburg. He's the head of mining at Cadiz Corporate Solutions. Now, that estimate that we had earlier uh, that mining, from mining report, that Zimbabwe's mining sector could generate earnings of about $18 billion compared to about $2 billion currently. Um, what's your reaction to those numbers? Are they accurate? Look, that's a pretty extreme, great example. That, that economy and mining industry has been so run down that even if they got all the capital they needed tomorrow, it will take them decades to get to 18 billion. But they could easily go to four to six billion, which would be two to three times what they're doing now, I think inside a five year period. And they don't just need capital though, they need legislation and they need government and policies and politics that's been against them for 30, 40 years. You know, there's so much capital in the world, it'll fall in tomorrow, but this country's done everything to deter investors, chase them away, steal from them, cheat them for 40 years, that it's not gonna just turn around tomorrow. They have to have better policies than anybody else in the world. Not standard policies like everyone else, they have to do better now to make up for their past. Um, Peter, do you think Zimbabwe risks becoming over-reliant on resources? Uh, say that again, over do you, the red line. Do you, think, do you think Zimbabwe risks becoming over-reliant on resources like plenty of other African countries have in the past? No, no, they're too far from that. It's a well-balanced economy. It's like a mini South Africa. They've got every mineral South Africa does, not quite as rich but they've got them shallower and they've got almost as good a grades and they're very easy to mine. They got a great, great workforce, but no, they won't get overly reliant on minerals because it's such a small component of what it could be. Even if they get four to 6 billion, they could easily go more. I don't see them getting too reliant and it's a diverse amount of minerals. So it's not just platinum, it's not just gold, it's not just diamonds, gee, they get chrome, ferrochrome, base metals, lithium, they have a one, Wonderful spread of minerals. Right. OK. Peter Major in Johannesburg at Caddy's Corporate Solutions. We are going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>